What is up guys, it's me Joshua and today it's my very first vlog on my new channel and I'm going to be talking about survival horror PC games, most notably independently developed ones. Um, so as you may know lately there have been kind of a little bit of an influx of PC survival horror games and even most notably independent ones. So if you played the Slenderman game, I'm sure you know what I'm talking about. It was made by, uh, might have been a single guy, I'm not sure. But it was a really interesting game. I got a lot of good reviews and people are wanting more, of course. So the game I'm going to be talking about is Outlast. And Outlast is a game that's going to be made by a company called Red Barrels, which is a very new company, of course. And they're creating a new IP and they're independent. They're going to independently publish this game. So that's really interesting. And the best part about it is the fact that even though that they are independent, it's not like they're all new game developers. A lot of the developers on the team have actually come from really big publishers and really big developers that have worked on games such as Assassin's Creed and Splinter Cell, etc, etc. So they know how to make games and they know how to make them fun, of course. So this Outlast game, it looks really intriguing for a couple of different reasons. I'm just going to kind of paraphrase their introduction to the game. So the protagonist is, of course... Miles Upshur, and he's a independent photojournalist or a journalist, either one, not totally sure. But he has got an interesting inside tip about a asylum, an insane asylum that has been long closed, of course, but was recently reopened by the mysterious Murkoff Corporation in the remote mountains of Colorado, and it's called Mount Massive. And the interesting part is, is this thing was opened by the research and charity, I think it was, um, branch of the company. And apparently there's a bunch of whores that kind of walk the line between science and religion and something else entirely, apparently. So I think it's really interesting. It has an interesting story. And apparently it has to go to the center of the asylum or the deepest, darkest part of it to escape so that sounds interesting now there is a kind of a teaser trailer out for this and it's pretty cool uh, most notably is the fact that it looks like the only weapon weapon you might be armed with is in fact a camera so I would have to see how that mechanic works out apart from everything else in the game that is an interesting take on actually doing survival horror making you defenseless making you not in control or able to do anything except for a run perhaps so that's really interesting. And another interesting thing I found about it, not necessarily about the trailer, but it's kind of a comment by one of the developers and it said that, um, of course, a lot of people do the standard monsters and kind of abominations in horror games, whereas they're going to make enemies or antagonists that actually can think and move around and actually have a little bit of brains. So we'll have to see how that works out. I think it's a really interesting concept and I'd like to see where it goes. Of course, you can find the link to the trailer in the description. I hope you take a look at it. It really was interesting to me, of course. But guys, that's about all i got for you today. I thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.